An elderly woman with a walker slowly escorting her out of the emergency room. She can't move fast. It takes several minutes to make it all the way to the same corner of Hancock and Ali after they have her across the street off the yeah. hospital. Pro Disturbing scenes on our streets triggering calls to the wave troubleshooters alleging patient dumping by local hospitals. Two different $2 million plus patient dumping jury verdicts recently in Kentucky caught our eye. But what really got our attention was where calls to our newsroom led us when we began following up on the complaints. This story begins December 1st at 5 p.m. with a phone call to our newsroom from a horrified University Hospital employee claiming security had just wheeled a woman all the way out to the corner of Hancock and Ali, just off hospital property, dumped the elderly woman out of the wheelchair on the sidewalk and left. Minutes later, we shot video of her, still in a soiled hospital gown and slippers, breathing hard under a blanket placed over her in 36-degree weather, her stuff in a bag next to her. The employee claimed she sees this a lot. So I started watching, and on December 16th at 7 p.m., 35 degrees outside, I record three security guards surrounding an elderly woman with a walker, slowly escorting her out of the emergency room. She can't move fast. It takes several minutes to make it all the way to the same corner of Hancock and Ali. After they have her across the street, off the hospital property, the security guards turn around and go back. When they clear, I catch up to her, and she says she can't breathe. They told me that I could not stay on the premises. Were you in there as a patient? Well, I needed to be a patient because I'm, I'm, I'm sick. What's, what's wrong with you? I got COPD. I got diabetes. So they wouldn't even treat you? The doctor talked to me for one minute. And they told you what? That I had to leave. What reason did he give you? He didn't give me a reason. She tells me she's homeless. Go I got to go a lot of hurting. What, I'm in pain. I was in a car crash and it completely shattered my hip and pelvis. Right here, I got like 30 something screws. Matthew Haber and his mother claim a similar story. They met a